Hey there folks, welcome back to Conspiracy Kyle, where we strive to bring you the best in entertainment videos anywhere across the internet. I'm your host, Conspiracy Kyle, and today we'll be looking at some of the creepiest and most unexplainable photos of all time with today's title, 10 Incredibly Strange and Mysterious Photos That Can Scare Anyone Want to Become Part of the Conspiracy Team. Make sure to subscribe down below with notifications on so you don't miss anything we post each day. Let's get rolling. The Skunk Ape. All right, ladies and gents, let's kick things off right here with the photo that has stumped animal experts and frightened local residents of Sarasota County in the state of Florida. The story goes that an unnamed woman who had kept hearing weird and strange noises off of her back porch needed to do a little investigating to find out what exactly was going on. After grabbing her camera and finding the location of the noise, she started snapping away, and these two images are what came out. She said that the animal, which her husband had stated must have been an orangutan, Tang was at least six and a half feet tall and that the animal had eaten several fresh apples that were left overnight on their back deck. Lastly, a cryptozoologist named Zorn Coleman, Lauren Coleman took a special look at the pictures and established that while this animal does exhibit characteristics of an orangutan, she didn't believe that it was one. The mystery of the Cooper family photo. Our next photograph comes from all the way back in the year 1959, where the Cooper family, who had just moved into a brand new house in Texas, gathered to take an interesting family photo that turned out to be pretty weird. Check it out. So you can see there on the left hand side, where people have called a ghost sort of hanging upside down there. Obviously, the family members claimed that there was absolutely no other person, let alone one hanging from the ceiling in the home when the picture was taken. So, what do you think this is? How the heck could something like this have happened all the way back in the 1950s? And we'll take your best guess is what you come up with down in the comments, so don't forget to chime in. By the way... If you want to get a shout out in the next video, don't forget to drop a comment with the hashtag Conspiracy Club. Stefan Michelak, UFO case. All right, folks, up next on this mission to find the most disturbing photos floating around the net, we have the mysterious Stefan Michelak, a case dating back to the year 1967. Michelak was out exploring the woods near Falcon Lake in Canada. The story goes that he saw two cigar-shaped UFOs land near the lake, even when he watched as the doors open up and saw what he called a maze of lights on the inside. Then out of nowhere, the machine went to take off into the sky, shooting out hot air through a vent near the door. According to Michelak, that hot air caused his shirt to burst into flames, and then later at the local hospital, this photo was taken, showing off the unusual grid of burn marks on his chest and stomach. This is one of the most convincing photos of alien contact found anywhere in the world. However, still, a lot of people don't believe the origin story. But what about you? The UFO and St. Giovannino. All right, folks, let's keep things moving right along here with our next clip, actually featuring a painting instead of a photo, but you'll see why it made today's list in just a second. The painting is called the Madonna with St. Giovannino, and it was created by 15th century artist Dominic Galandia, who lived between 1449 and 1494, so you can clearly make out the Virgin Mary in a small a couple of small children, but that's not why this painting made the list. If you look over Mary's shoulder there, on the right hand side, it appears that there is a UFO actually painted into the Ark. What could that be, uh, if you consider that this image comes from all the way back in the 1400s? Why would anyone paint a UFO if they had never seen or at least heard of one before? Just below the object, in the air, you could see a man and his dog, and they even appear to be gazing at the alien spacecraft. So, do you think this proves that UFOs and alien sightings have been going down since the beginning of time? Furthermore, do you think that this proves UFOs have visited our planet before? Ghost Woman on a Tree. Okay, let's keep it moving right along. Check out this next photo that really doesn't come with much background. What we do know is that there was an unnamed man, how in the woods, just doing a little nature exploring, he claims to have taken several images of the landscape on that day, but it wasn't until the photos were developed that he saw this creepy and scary sight. Here, this woman, which is probably some kind of ghost, is just sitting here on a large tree branch. He claims that there was absolutely no one there when he snapped the picture, but obviously something was present there in the woods with him on that day. What do you guys think? Does this mean if there's a ghost? I mean, what could it really be? I suppose the story could be made up, but for what purpose? If you have any guesses better than ours, please don't hesitate to let us know. 
Mysterious ghost in a church. Just real quick before we move into the next photo, we appreciate all the new subscribers, so if you are new to the channel, then trust me, you're gonna love that we do our best to bring fresh daily videos even on Sundays and holidays, so keep coming back for more every single day. Okay, so on to the next clip. This image was captured at a church back in 1975 at Peterborough. Lot took the photo of his wife, who was sitting in the front of his religious building in Norfolk, UK. His wife was praying, and at the time this photo was taken, according to Peter, no one else was in the shot. But clearly, once the picture was developed, there is an image of a ghostly figure sitting right beside and behind his wife. How is that possible? Where did that person, her ghost, come from? One of the local workers said that the ghost was a well-known being called White Lady, who they claim is the ghost of a healer who is believed to haunt the building. But but do you think that's true? If not, then how else can you explain this truly haunting image? Time Traveler. Alright boys and girls, oh, men and women of course. This next photograph has stumped historians for decades, so let's see what you all think about it. The black and white image comes from the year 1941 in what is known as the reopening of the South Forks Bridge in Canada. In it, you could see a crowd of people huddled up closely with each other are trying to get a glimpse of the attraction. However, the mystery surrounds the guy near the center of the image that's wearing those sunglasses that are absolutely not a known fashion accessory in the year this image was produced. Also, when you look at his attire, loose hoodie and a graphic t-shirt as well, definitely isn't a staple of the time period either. And lastly, what is he holding in his hand? It looks kind of like a camera, which is an unknown staple of that time period which I remind you is 1941. So with all these factors, how do you explain this guy being in this picture? Obviously, in that year, there was no Photoshop movie, but I guess someone could have doctored the image more recently. But for what? And do you think that there is any credence to the assumption that they say anything is possible? The Mothman Mystery Another mythical or actual creature that people have cited over the years yet cannot completely prove its existence is the Mothman. The state of West Virginia in the United States has reported numerous sightings of this hideous creature. Unfortunately still, no one has been substantiated, at least for now. Check out this picture, which supposedly resembles how the Mothman is supposed to look. Back in 1966, a couple was driving through the TNT area, which is a mountainous plant that was erected back during World War II. Legend states that the Mothman lives in the complex underground tunnels that accompany the plant. The couple also claimed that the Mothman appeared out of nowhere, standing in front of the car, and then followed them when they turned around. That's crazy. Who is that? Okay, now on to the second to last clip. Check it out. A few friends went on a road trip, and they were passing by the Grand Canyon, so they decided to hop out of the car and take a few pictures. All good, right? Until they went back and looked at some of the footage. In this photo of the boy's uncle standing on the edge of the canyon, you can clearly see a black hooded person. Looks like a boy or a man standing there in the trees, just behind him. Can you see that? That is not one of the creepiest things you've ever seen. Okay, so paranormal experts who've taken a look at this picture have made several different assumptions, but one of the most convincing, at least for me, is that they think it could be a Grim Reaper. And if it is, does that mean someone was supposed to die on that day? Weird, right? Whatever you think it could be, don't forget to let us know before you get done watching today's video. The Newby Church Ghost. So now we're in Yorkshire, all the way back in 1963, and what you can see if you look close enough and over to the right side of the screen is what appears to be a ghost, or what some have even called a specter. Now, with the time period that this picture is from, you can trust that this pic has been scrutinized and looked over thousands upon thousands of time by experts and, of course, non-experts alike. But the general consensus is that this picture hasn't been doctored in any way, so I don't know. What do you think is this? The the first documented case of Photoshop, or is the ghost in this picture the real deal? And that's today's video. If you liked today's video, leave a thumbs up and share it with all your friends. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel so that you never have to miss out on any of our interesting videos ever again. Now wait, before we finish up, did you forget to drop your comments down in the comment section? If you did, then go ahead and talk to us right now. We love hearing from you, plus it helps us figure out what stories we should keep and which ones we should stay away from. So don't hesitate to even think about it, just go comment right now.